Uh, I think uh, the topics talks about uh, reshaping smart cities, innovation, IoT, and all. But when I was looking at the agenda, it looked more as a cyber security and all aspect of secure information security part of it. And this seems to be little out of place, what I'm going to talk. And more so from a person who comes from a national intelligence grid, which is net grid and talks about security only. So I thought, uh, and when, when the organizers were talking to me and uh, saying ki what you would like to talk, and I thought I'll take up a challenge and talk about something different than the line, which we keep on talking day in and day out about it. And hence a talk about uh, what what's going to happen. And, and uh, let, before starting this, let me give a brief anecdote about here. Uh, at the lunch, uh, I happened to meet uh, she, uh, she, uh, she Vijayendra Kumar, uh, Secretary at HIT, and he was giving me insight about how things uh, have changed in the campus and what he is trying to bring about. And they were really interesting about the things, and I was quite fascinated and captivated with the insights that came around in terms of how the how the campus is being turned into smart capitals, and what changes have been brought in, and what changes are being brought in, and all that. Looking at it, uh, probably this 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 conversation, which I am going to talk for next couple, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending upon the time, I think it aligns agiles very well about it. And if we look look at, uh, in, in a brief sense, and go back to how, how are some facts narrate or talk about it, I'll just like to highlight. Mm. I guess we are still dependent on humans more than the machines as such, and that's good part of it. Uh, UN predicts by 2050 we'll have 70% of the population living in smart cities. There will be about and currently, and this is about EU data, I'm not bringing in what India talks about and where we stand about it. I'm sure we can extrapolate into our Indian context per se. Uh, another part of this, ah. if you look at the data, what we are talking about, we are generating every minute tons and quintals of data per se, which is coming in uh, if about 4 million you, uh, YouTube videos are viewed by users every minute and that's changing and that's adding and that's becoming huge as we go out as such. In a nutshell, a smart city something like this will look like when we have the cities put together which are energized, enabled by IoT. Effectively what it means is that we are having a city which is all connected, interconnected and having sensors and sensors around us which effectively means it's collecting and collating lot of data. Now IoT had been talking about which talks about from a perspective of our, whether it has been delivered for our transportation, our utilities, our energy or majorly from a security part of it but ultimately what it is giving A1, it is making our life easier, it is making our life simpler but additionally it is also resulting in data to get collected, collated and huge amount of data to get generated. Uh, by, by one uh, study it, in, it has been indicated that in last two years we have generated 90% of the data in the world which ever exists which is a huge volume of data. We are talking about roughly 41,000 exabytes of data and that's the paradox about it. If I have to just break, sorry this is just moving too fast. Yep, so if, if you look at it, it talks about 41,000 exabytes of data that is getting generated and we have, get a, we have got 50 billion devices and that is all coming as part of smart cities. Is it really what we call it as data is a new oil because most of the data is as of now currently is also said that it is sitting in the devices and it's not being utilized or used as per se. And which is where a concept, very important still nascent, a concept has come up on IoT Edge Analytics and I'm just trying to bring that point about it to see what IoT Edge Analytics is about. These are some of the definitions. 
probably we all know IoT by now, we know analytics that has been talked through many times about it. The IoT edge analytics is an analytics which is talked about having in some kind of intelligence to be built at an end device. Think about it, if we have a device which, uh, for example, we have a sim simple CCTV uh, camera which is there and it's com taking the feed and it goes back and somebody is continuously monitoring and watching and all that and that gets recorded. But what in case, if there is nobody who is monitoring, the CCTV has got some kind of intelligence whenever it find, gets that and there is a brawl that happens or there is something that snatch, snatching or some other scenario that happens, it immediately, immediately on its own it detects, analyzes the data and intimates for some action or activity to happen rather than for a centralized location to first collect, collate, the demystify the data and then do an action about it. And the time that it takes about all that is humongous compared to what it can be done while it is available at the edge itself. Why? As I was talking about, leading research report indicates we will have these many dis devices connected we will have uh, the data which will be very messy and noisy about it's uh, often highly unstructured it's dynamic many times it's indirect it results in creating some kind of problems that which actually results in a time it takes to get it delivered. We talk about local analytics or real-time analytics to happen. That reduces the latency part of it. it sorry guys, but this is really not working. Uh, and at the best part of it, we can have this at a reduced cost because think about it, the data that has to getting generated from all these devices and we are talking about like roughly if a city like uh, lesser, uh, 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 if I say a simple district like uh, cannot place has to be put up and there are 12,000 devices and all 12,000 devices which are collecting and collating the data and send it over the van. Think about the bandwidth it will consume, hence it helps reducing the bandwidth and the use of cloud because a lot of action can happen at the local uh, device or endpoint device itself. Probably that is something which we should be looking and help us about. A typical topology, typical topology of a uh, edge analytic looks like this where we have the sensors that come and together talk to the intermediate layer or an abstraction layer based on that it goes to the cloud for the information that goes over there for further analytics now here is again the edge analytics is not a complete analytics it's an analytics that happen only at the edge for a specific action or activity the data still needs to go to the uh, cloud for making the information to be extracted which can be further used. So it's, it's still not a complete analytics and it has to go over there uh, for the information to be extracted and the patterns to be detected because at the edge the device only talks about what has to be and what can be done for a specific event or activity that has to be taken forward. Where we have, it can be used across, whether it's surveillance, industrial, smart cities, healthcare, so on and so forth. Some examples, we are talking about video camera recognizing, I just shared about 12,000 cameras, how much they will generate as this one, as the data and the traffic it will consume from the bandwidth part of it. Internet hubs, we are talking about next generation firewalls. And to talk about the automated or driverless cars, we are having 300,000 events that are coming up from the sensors that are there available and hence that is more important to have that analytics to happen in the driverless car rather than going to a centralized location as by the time the action comes in saying do this, the driver is no more. So probably it is more important that we should be having these things on the edge or at the edge devices just to share about what kind of edge analytics and most of the people or many of us would have seen or some of us would have seen this kind of device and I'm sure many of us can recognize it. It's, it's a simple vacuum cleaner which typically has an AI and the learning enabled into it which it can detect based on it how what are the curves if there are bump rides so on and so forth and align itself to get now here 
it doesn't go back to the centralized repository for doing activity about it it is done at the edge itself by this device so effectively we are looking at and we will be surrounded sooner than later with such kind of capabilities as i said this is still an uh, edge analytics is a nascent area a very uh, uh, an area of interest to many of the engineering as well as uh, the organizations and the public services inclusive because it will make life very different and easier to be delivered and also to deliver the services to them. Uh, some of the technology solutions that already exist which comes from uh, whether it's from Microsoft or from uh, YBM Cisco's of the world that are already available they are and further research is still going on on them. Uh, some of the challenges, yes, we do have an issue of compute of power of the devices and edge analytics has another part of the problem because you have to keep them alive many times and in our country it's there where the power fa failure happens and you do not have information or you don't have the capability to keep it energized so you need to have the battery life available to them. High speed network another one security how to secure them because once they have the analytics and based on that they can trigger it so you have to ensure that there is there is no uh, man in the middle or some kind of other areas where there can be uh, compromise resulting in some kind of action or activity which results in a problem for not only the analytics that happens on this by the device but also for the people who are into the midst of it uh, interoperability and unified standard is one but i think Careful planning is the most important part of it, which we really need to think about and how to take it forward. What's coming? We are talking about, uh, and I just mentioned about the first line of analytics will be these, but I think most important will be the user experience, which will take center stage. It's the ease of how seamlessly we use such kind of devices that their success will depend upon that. But probably uh, I like to bring and whether AI combined with IoT and so on and so forth, that's all their asset, but that is the most important part, which we all as a security or whether it's from cyber or information, that it will result in more issues for the CISOs and the cyber experts because expect a DDoS or a kind of attack or a malware attacks which attacks or uh, makes your end device unusable or compromises that you device for doing something else so probably that is very important aspect think about an uh, an example can be you have a IoT enabled refrigerator and it automatically sends signals to get milk refilled without being actually checked into that the milk, milk is already setting so you are unnecessarily paying all that money for it or for that matter s smart ACs. Conclusion it's still an essence place it has to be worked upon and looked into concepts such as predictive marker model language are are important and they will be the key drivers it will not be the hardware it will not be the software it will be the analytics and algorithms which will be the key differentiator for the capabilities to come through and if i put it in a very simple manner this is kind of what smart city we are looking at that will come which will be enabled energized by iot or an internet of thing devices that, that will be there further driven by data and i leave one thought over here from a perspective of what jason silva said that probably it is not about what the devices are it is just that the data is talking back to us it is conveying that yes I am there and this is what we can do and bring the intelligence probably it's not no more internet of things or internet of services is data of things uh, I think that's all what I wanted to share and talk about thank you very much